Hello students. So this video we are going to see what are the typical problems. That means uh, twisted problems. The question itself they will be giving some twisted way. So here we can see the question is a point, a fixed point F is 6 centimeter from a fixed straight line. Fixed straight line draw the locus of a point P moving in such a way that a distance from the straight line is 3 by 2 times. So look at here, this is 3 by 2 times. Which one is 3 by 2 times? The distance from the straight line, okay, this uh, 3 by 2 times, that means the moving point fixed line to the straight line is 3 by 2 times of what? Distance from F. Okay, so for roughly we can take the calculation here, this is the way, so here this is a, a straight line, fixed line, this will be the focus point F, okay, here the total distance will be what, 6 centimeter, 6 centimeter, it is given, now here they are, we are going to fix anywhere, this the, in between these two points, the C and F, we are going to fix a point as P. So approximately I am going to fix it here. Now we are going to find out the distance. If this distance, this point may be vary. Okay. According to the question, here what it is given, the P is moving in such a way that it distance, its distance from the straight line. In the, uh, this from this point to this point, it is 3 by 2 times. It is 3 by 2 times. Already there will be a value that will be 1 time. This is 1 value means this will be what? 3 by 2. What is called 3 by 2? 3 by 2 means actually it is 1 and off. It is 1 and off. 1 and off is nothing but 1.5. So this is 1 and this is 1.5. So how we need to take it? So the total value is this, uh, this and both. Both are divisible by 0.5. So this is 0.5 or this divisible mean this is while dividing it by 0.5 you will be getting 3. This is divided by 0.5 means you will be get as 2. So now here uh, once again I am drawing this the rough one. This is the value means this is 3 times and this is 2 times. This is F value and this is a P and this is C. This is A, B. We got it now. So how much the value is? This is through uh, 2 and this is 3. According to our eccentricity formula, how we will be doing it? The first one, that means the distance between the straight line and the moving point will be at the denominator. Okay, and the moving point and to the focus will be the second value will be at the numerator. So automatically this will come under where? Ellipse. But in the question, they have not given anywhere else, they have not given whether it is ellipse or hyperbola or a parabola. Here simply they are asking name the curve. Look at here, simply they are asking name the curve. So here how we are going to proceed it. And after that, the remaining things, everything are very same. What we have done in the ellipse. Already these things we have calculated. The total distance is what? 60. 60 millimeter. So 60 millimeter divided by what, what, what about this? 3 plus 2 is 5. So total value will be 12. Each value will be 12. So here we are going to divide equal values of 12 mm. Each will be 12 mm. So after dividing it, this is so the two part will be here. The, here the value will be what? 24. And here the value will be 36 mm and here this is so like this we need to calculate so look at here whatever the question is given here they have given the distance from the straight line is 3 by 2 times suppose the question is given as the distance from the fixed line is 3 by 2 times this word will be changing this is straight line is given so this is a straight line Suppose this is given as fixed point, this is given as fixed point means we have to go for what? Hyperbola. This will be automatically comes under 
because this this distance will be 3 by 2 times and this will be 1 time. So, this is 1.5 time and this will be 1 time. So, automatically this will come under hyperbola. So, already for this given question it is ellipse. So, for this one we are going to proceed our problem. So, you know you have under clearly understand now. Okay. So, we can go for the question. Here it is given as ellipse. So, first we can draw the directrix and then I will be little bit faster because already first video we have seen about how to draw the ellipse. So, this is C and this is A, B and this is D. Now, I am going to measure the F value, F is 6 centimeter, it is 60 mm. So, this is F we have drawn, already I told it to divide it by 12 equal parts. So, 12 mean 12, 24, 36, 48, then 60. So, this will be your E, E or P. So, P is the curve which will be drawn as a curve here now. So, now I am going to draw the perpendicular lines. So, today I bought a roll and draw scale like this so that it will be very easy for me to uh, draw here. So, I am just going to fix it. So, I will be drawing a perpendicular line through this. just draw a perpendicular line ok. So, later we can use this. Now, I am going to measure this one. This will be exactly 24 mm. So, by here I just made an arc on both the side here also both the side I made the arc. Now, I am going to complete the diagram. Okay. So, from this point I am just going to take the 45 mm, 45 degree on right hand side. So, most of us not having the, this kind of practice. So, this value will be if you are going to take the 45 degree means this angle will confirm you the end point. So, otherwise you cannot find it out. So, it will be very easy for you to identify the end point. So, it will be going here like this. So, it cannot end. So, my paper is not enough anyhow. So, I will be finding it out. Okay. So, next thing I am going to finish uh, with the, all the perpendicular lines like this. Uh, so, this will be one line and next parallel line I am going to draw here. I will draw like this and at here I will draw another one line and here I will draw another one line and next. So, the line is going on extending like this. So, later we can measure it and this will be the way of doing it and next already the ellipse part we have seen. So, there is nothing to explain more about this and from F I will be taking the arc here. Again I am going to measure this length and from F I will be making the arc on both the side and this I, F I will be measuring and taking the arc on here itself and next from F and next from here so 
so the ellipse problem you know how to solve it from f We are going to draw another points means. If you need, you can extend it. Like this, we can extend it, and this line also we can extend. Now, I am going to measure it. Actually, approximately I am going to measure it. So, the exact value I cannot identify. My paper is not enough. So, here it will ends. This part it will ends. So, very simple. Now, hold your pencil like this. Now, you can gently join all the curves. Arc like this. Okay. So, this will be our ellipse. I am just going to darken it. So, how to darken it is uh, just for the VD purpose, I am just making it by sketch pen, but you people has to darken it by pencil. So, that the curve will be very perfect. So, this is what the curve you will get it. Okay. So, here you can fix anywhere or uh, one of the point and then you can go for what? Uh, the parabola as uh, the tangent and normal. So, here I am going to fix it a point at here. This is P while fixing I am just going to join these two F okay and I'm, now I am going to draw the perpendicular line from here. So, after joining it I can connect these two. Now I can draw a tangent on it. So, this line I can make it by the colored one. So, I need to highlight this. So, next I can also draw the perpendicular line. So, this will be the N, M, G, T, the remaining names are, uh, this is P1, P2, P3, uh, P4, P5, P6, P7, P8, P9 and this is uh, V, uh, sorry, uh, yes, V2 and this is V1 and this is P1 dash. P2 dash, P3 dash, P4 dash, P5 dash, P6 dash, P7 dash, P8 dash, P9 dash, again the same way and also we can go for the dimensioning. So, here it will ends. So, next I am just making the arrowheads. So, this is 60. No need to write millimeter or centimeter. So, already it is said. So, this also you have to make it. So, as 45 degree. Okay. So, this is the clear one of uh, your ellipse and here also you can write this is ellipse. Here the question itself they have asked name the curve. 
So, here we need it uh, ellipse. Okay, and here you can write it as all dimensions are in mm. Okay, thank you. In the next video, we can see the typical problems which are asked in cycloids. So, that we can see it. Oh, thank you all.